Right, welcome back Minecraftians. Uh, Ron in here. We're going to be doing a little time lapse on our Parthenon looking building. I uh, decided to do this in a time lapse because it gets kind of boring just watching me do block by block or doing weird silliness, screwing up, that kind of thing. So uh, we're going through here right now. Uh, a little bit of world edit. Um, you know some of the uh, some of the carved blocks for or some of the carved marble blocks for a little bit of a uh, little bit of effect. Um, there's some you know some different marble base pieces that I use. You know, I was talking about it before where you know use use all of the blocks that you're given with a conquest. Um, you know those they they can be molding pieces. They can be you know coping pieces. You know whatever whatever you want to use them for. You know, and generally speaking, it's going to work. It's going to look pretty good. You know, here we are. We're just kind of detailing out the, um, you know, kind of the walkway up to the temple. Um, I don't have a name for the temple yet, but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll come up with a good one. Um, more world edit action there. Uh, that is the walls command. Um, it allows you to define a, a square, a rectangle, whatever it might be, um, and everything in that square rectangle you change to whatever block you want. You know, here I'm using a brush tool. Uh, you'll you'll be able to see it better when I go to do the roof. But here's a brush tool uh, to paint um, all of the white wool that's remaining into um, marble. Um, you know, that, you know, just kind of speeds the process up and allows for um, you to do quick quick building. You, know, you build your structural as we talked before. Um, build your structure, your, your, you know, the, the structural sense of the building. Um, you know, figure things out architecturally and then you go back and you paint them. Um, that's really the power of world edit. Uh, I don't show the back side of, uh, of the temple because, you know, quite honestly it is the same on the front as it is on the back. Um, other than the steps that lead up, uh, if I remember correctly, I didn't even put steps on the other side. Um, I might end up doing s like some temple gardens back there by the water, uh, which I probably w actually will do. Um, but you know, just haven't haven't figured that out yet. Lots of things to do with the uh, whole kingdom of Anusti. Um, you know, I moved away from the monastery a little bit because it was driving me nuts. Um, the island fortress. I've actually completed um, the video for that time lapse. Will be uploaded shortly. The uh, our next thing that we're going to do. Yeah, did you see me screw up there? Well, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to step back into um, the university um, in one of the next videos. Uh, we're going to step back into the university. We'll step back in. You guys haven't seen me uh, do anything with the university. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the, well, I'll go back to the university, I'll take you with me. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, build out the rest of the, um, what amounts to the dorms for students. Uh, probably work on the uh, astrology section. And then i got to figure out what some of those other buildings are going to be, you know, obviously um, language, arts, or English, whatever you want to call it, whatever their language is. We'll call it language arts, that way we don't piss anybody off. Um, and there you go, some of the other buildings, what they're going to be. Um, you know, the School of Brewing, of course, was built first, and then the, um, the, uh, the Blacksmith School was built second, you know, within the university. Yeah, uh, because you gotta, you gotta make tools and you gotta make beer. You gotta keep people happy. Anyway, back to this temple. Um, so here you see us, us, me, myself and I. Um, I'm painting the roof on. So that's blue tile. That's one of the uh, blocks you get. Is a, it's a blue roof tile. And on the back side, you, know, you can't see me doing it right now, but on the back side what I'm doing is I'm going through doing some block variation. You know, throwing in some uh, what you would know, what you would r recognize as stair blocks um, and some vertical slabs, that kind of thing, to you know, variate the 
uh, the look of the roof a little bit. And it gives a it gives it kind of a worn look. Um, here, you know, I was just building kind of you know on the fly. I thought, you know what? How am I going to take this down? Uh, we're going to have we're going to have a thing where there's a walkway that you know, ships can come up to. You know, people that need to come visit the temple, whatnot. Uh, I am using a lot of world edit here. Um, as I said before, I like world edit, love it. Um, you you need to get it. Uh, it's really easy to use. It really helps out with a lot of different things. Um, you know, both in the texturing and uh, as well as construction. And when we get into uh, some some different buildings, I'll show you some of the power of world edit. Um, here I'm using the walls command again. I use that quite frequently. Um, that is just to, you know, really to lay out the kind of the barriers for the walkway that, that we're building here. Uh, here we are just, you know, we're just putting in some blocks. We're going to come back and paint later. Uh, actually, I guess I think we're going to paint now. Um, using the uh, replace tool here, um, which I believe I showed you before. If I didn't, um, it's just, you know, any of the tools and then you type in slash R-E-P-L zero and then left click whatever block you want to mimic. And then you just go through and you right click them and wherever you want to spread that kind of joy. And it, uh, you know, it allows you, so you, so you don't have to break a block and replace a block. You know, you can just uh, say, that, well, this is the block I want to, I want in there and I'll do it that way. Um, I did screw up right there. I uh, enabled a brush to wipe out anything above uh, the yellow wool. And, you know, being an idiot, I completely lost track of the fact that I have white wool above yellow wool. And that was to get rid of the weeds that were on the path. I'll show you that in action uh, close up. Um, when we go to clear an area of vegetation, uh, it works really well. It works really well, especially if you're doing a path and um, you you have your path laid out with yellow wool and you don't have any walls on the side. And then you, uh, you come through and you basically just trim all the edges down with a brush and it, uh, it makes, makes for a nice, real easy, uh, quick and quick and dirty way of fit cleaning it up. Um, yeah, I'm just going through right now and just marbleizing the uh, the walls, uh, and uh, and this is this is about the time that I decided, you know what, this is kind of silly to put a uh, little dock area, and I saw this little island thing right here, you know, just just off of the mainland, little just a little little piece of land here, and I thought, you know. That would be a cool spot for some kind of a fortified house, uh, which we, you know, in, in on on the actual map itself right now, there is a uh, there is a initial building of a fortified house there. Uh, this, of course, was shot uh, about a week and a half ago, so a little bit behind on uh, uploading a lot of bit behind on uploading and I apologize for that uh, it's been it's been a little chaotic um, you know I was uh, up until um, well a couple days ago when this airs uh, I was going to be retiring and now I'm not um, I'm, I'm staying in continuing on with my job for a little bit longer um, you know just a lot of a little bit of soul searching um, you know, figuring out what it is I want to do when I grow up and um, I decided I want to keep doing what it is I do so uh, it's been uh, it's been it's been a little tough uh, I'm not usually one to um, be emotional really about any anything um, and it was uh, bothering me quite a bit so so that's why I've been missing an action on the channel um, so this is this is just like a this is a little bridge um, Yeah, I mean there's really no other word for it. It's a bridge. Um, I did do do it in kind of a French style and if, uh, if You know fancy camera van guy here uh, zooms in a little bit better soon 
hopefully. Uh, then we'll get to see a little bit more detail on it. I did do it in kind of a French style. Um, I've previously built, I don't know if any of you all have seen it, I'm sure you have, um, some of those uh, French uh, chateaus that are on the, uh, you know, the Loire River Valley in France, uh, where they, they're, they're built on across the river. And they've got the archways that go across the river. Really like that. I like the way it looks. Um, I did build one of those on a different map in Minecraft once. And I liked it, uh, but it just didn't have the right feel. And I had to look at a bunch of uh, pictures for reference to see, you know, what, what does it look like inside. Mine, of course, wasn't all that great. So I'm, I am probably going to try and do something similar on this map. I'm not sure where. But, uh, you know, we've got enough irons in the fire with some of the, uh, some of the different projects we have on this map right now that uh, I don't want to pick that one up. Um, one of the things that you're going to see in the next video, oh yeah, I guess I got ahead of myself. So one of the things you're going to see in the next video or the video following um, is a major vineyard um, that I started building. Um, I actually made some teleport platforms so I could get to and from it because it's a it's a pretty good distance away from the kingdom um, and I'll show you those um, but it's a, it's a kind of a cool project yeah I was watching something on TV I don't remember what it was and saw a vineyard and thought man that'd be that'd be cool so um, here I am, sorry about the camera angles, I, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this whole cinematography thing. Um, but here I am building the archways that go through, um, that's the copy, and here's the paste, boom, uh, feature of world edit. So what that does, and this is just a small example, but what that does is it allows you to build a feature, uh, whether it's part of a bridge, uh, whether it's part of a temple, part of a house, part of a castle, and then if it works out, you copy it, you paste it multiple times. Now you do have to worry about your orientation, um, you know, which way you're facing, that kind of thing, but it allows you to say, with, it works really well with castles and with like city walls. You build a certain section which is going to be a continuous type section or it's going to be repeated multiple times. Build it, copy it, and paste it in wherever it is you're going to have the towers, you're going to have the wall, that kind of thing. That's how you make it go real fast. So you can see development of your um, of your project fairly quickly. Uh, and it, you know, it just I know part of part of the thing with Minecraft is the building, you know, and it's fun and that. But with uh, creative Minecraft, specifically with Conquest Reforged, um, a lot of the fun is the planning. You know, how am I going to make this look right? You know, does that look right? And with World Edit, you can really um, you can really time that stuff out, plan that stuff out. And, uh, and you'll get really good results. So this is uh, this is we're coming to the end of the time lapse here, um, and this is just a little flyover action. Of what we built, uh, I think I've got a I've got a little bit more yellow to put in there, and we'll come through the path um, on a future video. Um, in fact, I might make a sub section of. Um, the playlist just devoted to certain projects. That way you can look at certain projects and uh, reference them for later. So, um, yeah, I hope you liked this one. Um, this is uh, my first time lapse. And uh, you all have, uh, have yourself a good day. This is Ronan. Like, comment, subscribe.